Hello, this is Inkabeek, and welcome to a new Let's Play series of Let's Play Lufia 2 The Rise of the Sinistrals. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite games of all time. I first got this game when I was very little, viewers. Um, just listen to this music. This game, I argue, has the greatest music soundtrack of any game of all time. Mainly for the main boss battle themes, but good lord is this awesome. We are watching the opening intro sequence of Lufia 2. Erem, she is one of the Sinistrals. We'll find out about her throughout the game. Uh, composer Mashadi Miyata, I love you. I have no idea who you are and I'll probably mispronounce your name. Masahide Miyata, whatever. Who is this Lord Arak? Which part of that is his face? What is her? Is that a crown? Is that a? F I have no idea what that is. I don't know which one is his eyes or what's his nose. Mm. The dual blade, huh? Fascinating. God, this game is so awesome. And she just teleported. A bright red ball disappearing from an island. That gets mentioned a few times in this game. Uh, and here we have the opening title sequence. Listen to this music. It's incredible. <clears throat> it really, really is. Uh, and the graphics look great. Like, they look a little flat, but that's expected, I mean. There's Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals. This is actually a prequel to Lufia 1. Lufia 1 is set 99 years in the future, I believe. Yes, the descendant of the main character. He... He's the main character of Lufia 1. But Lufia 2. Very great game. This game is, I wouldn't say famous for its puzzle solving, but it has some of the hardest puzzles ever implemented in a video game. It's a, quite a challenge. I never finished this game for a solid seven years because of one particular puzzle. It was difficult. I mean, I was only a child at the time. The, the intro is so good here. Oh, you'll be careful, that's for sure. Uh someone has a quash. Well, see ya, Maxim. He is a monster hunter. Unusual profession, but hey, lots of monsters, lots of hunting, good cash. It's a demand skill, if you know what I mean, viewers. This is Guy. Guy is one of the stronger characters in the game. So yeah. Uh, they remade this game, a stop like it originally was called a stopless, I believe, in the Japanese version. And they remade Guy's, like they gave him all the characters an anime look, and Guy looks terrible. He really does. He looks like a a beefcake kind of guy. Here he has like you know, just an odd little haircut. He's left-handed. It's enjoyable, you know. Ooh, prefer monsters. Someone has a monsterphilia. Oh, this music is so layered and so good. Just listen to that music. Uh, it brings out the emotion of this scene. 
It's in oh. It's so hard felt. Even though they're only sprite like you know, sprite representations of whatever. It's oh, it's so soulful. Woman's tears should what, Selen? Should what? Fade to black. And here is my favorite character of the game, DK. I always call him DK, I don't know why, whatever you pronounce it as. His original name is Heidecker, so you can probably call him Decker. But I just like calling him DK. It just sounds cool. Look, <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Alright, Prince Alex, go! Prince Alex is quite a weakling in this game. You never get to have play with him, but he is... Hey, DK is his protector. So, so DK? DK! Bay to black again. And here we have... Lexus? Lexus. Map constructor Takashi Miyasaki, Lexus, that's his name. You are uncreative. Because every. The biggest problem with this game, I love this game to death, it's one of the greatest games of all time. But it is very unoriginal when it comes to maps. Dungeon maps. I mean, you know, you have caves, and towers, and shrines, and caves, and towers and shrines then you have the occasional mountain but then you know you have your tower then of course a cave and you know what they even have shrines hard to believe viewers hard to believe so creative with the dungeons in this game <laughs> and here we have Artia or Arti as he will be known throughout the game Artia he is an elf, as you can tell by their ears and their sprites. They're not particularly fond of humans. But they you know, they're fast characters, very good magic. What people in the city? What people in the city? It's Karen! is so good. Adi is aware of everything because he's an to the god. Ha 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 Must be really happy you Adi. Ominous music. I am Arek. You will never see me once throughout the game. Now viewers which part is his eyes? Is it the gold thing at the top? Or there's two little dots there? Is that his hair? Like what is that what is that sprite? Ooh, I'm in this looking sword. I never did get what he is supposed to be. Alright. Well we got that out of the way. Very interesting introduction movie. Uh, I don't want to watch it again. There we go. There we go. Ah, spoilers alert, party alert, party alert. Well, let's start a new game. Uh, yep, I would be called Maxim. And here we got the introduction. Yep, these are our heroes from the opening title sequence. Six jellies, you say? Six. Six. That's 180. Are you trying to shortchange me, woman? Spooky. This is my job. You're a shop owner. Please, I'm not an entrepreneur. <laughs> Insensitive, what do you say about me, woman? <laughs> well, the nerve. Well, let's go back to Tia. Anyway, let's do some purchasing. I have 120 gold to start off with, so let's buy a rapier. Oh, no. Arm is probably more important. Small shield? It's 100 gold, you know what, yeah, it's worth it. It's probably not worth it actually, when I think about it, but hey. 
It's it's base armor. It's the first armor of the game. As, as you all know, viewers, armor gets progressively better in every single city. It's not like they had you know free trade back then. You know, <laughs> the warrior business. Ah, his favorite tea. Yeah, it is so peaceful. There's no such thing. Yeah, see the thing about this game, you can target multiple enemies or select enemies. They suffer from split damage, but you, if you want to select this, you know, two type of monsters to attack, it's a good way to like do some crowd control. Yes, the R button. I do not have anywhere near enough money to purchase spells. I can't purchase spark. Spark is a fire type attack, the weakest of them all. But Maxim can't use any fire attacks. I do. I'm pretty 100% sure of. Uh, well, to save, you just go up to the priest and save. The priest can also lift spells. I'll lift curses, so I'll lift spells. Hmm, a red light. Similar to the one that we saw in the intro movie? Perhaps. 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 Hmm. No, no, no. I'm sure everything is A-OK. -okay. I mean, it's a video game. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Welcome to Elsin. I can read signs backwards. Secret fighting dungeon, you say? Oh, I am so giddy. Alright, no random battles. I am a god. Yep, in this game, when you're in dungeons, you can fight the monsters just on your own. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So, let's take on this jelly. I just fight an arrow at him. You only learn about arrows in the next room. Spoilers. This is why I'm a monster hunter, because I'm invincible. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Yep, using the select you can uh, the select button, you can select a whole range of like items. So we start off with just the arrow. We'll get another one very soon. It's essential for puzzle solving in this game if you're stupid. Hmm. Yep. So you just freeze it, and now you can't get to battles. But I want to get to a battle with a red jelly. Red jelly is of course the weakest enemy in the game. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's move on to the next room. And here's our first puzzle of the game. Not a real puzzle, but a puzzle nonetheless. Hit the switch with the A button, and done. Let's go on to the next room. Have I told you guys how much I love, love, love the music of this game? So if I step on that switch, it opens a door. Well, let's push all the way in. Ah, I'm doomed. Even now, I can't finish the game. It's impossible. Why, well, I'm gonna go home, cry my sh onto your shoulder. Reset, huh? I hope it's not a horribly abusive spell that defeats the puzzle-solving element of the game. Perhaps. Well, let's give this reset a try. And reset, you have to press down to get to the reset. Let's try this again. Success! Alright. Come on! Well, I guess this will do it for the intro episode of my Let's Play of Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. I have been Inkovic, and you've been a thin slice of heaven, viewers. See you soon!